Grocery Illuminated was the first project that was funded from the Percent for Art Ordinance um, after it passed in 2001. Planning and Development Services was making recommendations to Ada County Highway District to change the route of Grove Street right there where it meets 9th. Grove Street kind of cut in a straight line right up to where the one city center plaza building is right now. It made a really tough intersection there between Grove and they had discontinued travel through where the Grove Plaza is now. And so they wanted to you know, amend the roadway there. Capital City Development Corporation had just constructed that parking structure there at the corner of 9th and Front. And they wanted a little public plaza outside of the parking garage where people could, you know, meet or gather or whatever. It seemed like a great location to invest in public art there um, as it was going to be a public gathering space. The panel at that time kind of took a risk on the artist Amy Westover. She had just um, graduated from Boise State and hadn't didn't have any public art projects under her belt at the time, and so, but they were really interested. Um, she was a female artist um, applying in a largely male-dominated arena, and so they were interested in kind of taking a risk on her. Amy's a really fascinating artist. She's really smart in her approach to developing projects that are very sort of specific and unique um, to the, you know, the parameters of the opportunity. And in this location, she was she kind of really dove into the history of that particular area within the city. And so the work formally and aesthetically is um, kind of presents itself as more of a minimal uh, minimal sculpture. Um, it's, it's three split half circles that are emerging from the surface of the plaza. Uh, they're lit from the inside. They're created out of aluminum with uh, acrylic on the interior and it's lit kind of like a light box from the inside. There's screen printed imagery on the interior of the acrylic. There's also sewer covers or sort of like replica sewer covers installed in the surface of the plaza um, that spell out uh, Boise Canal. And so all of the elements are sort of drawing on the Boise Canal, which actually runs under that location. Um, it's, it was uh, sent to underground, you know, as the city developed around it and so she wanted to pull attention to that major resource that we have here is the water. And the Boise Canal is one of the first canals that was diverted from uh, the Boise River. And uh, so that's one component of it. And the other is the history of Grove Street. And so on the interior of each of those um, sort of half circles, there's ephemera and historic images of the sort of development of that, that neighborhood along Grove Street. Um, and so it moved through different different phases throughout the growth of the city. And at one point it was really the frontier of the city. There was not much out there. Um, once they diverted the canal out there, we saw the wealthy population living along the canal because of the access to the fresh water. Once they found hot water from the geothermal springs on warm springs, that wealthy population moved to the other side of the city and that area became kind of boarding houses for the Basque and the railroad came in just uh, right there along Front Street and so there was boarding houses and hotels and kind of flop houses and stuff like that. Then as the Chinese population got pushed out of, out of town, they kind of found their way into that area of, of the city and had agricultural businesses, again, with access to the fresh water there. And, and, now, and then it sort of developed into you know, more or less what we see it today. The work there really fits nicely into that setting. And uh, it's interesting to see that, you know, people will elect to walk sort of straight through the sculpture as opposed to around it in various, in various ways. Um, I think it really is successful on both a, from a, you know, driving by in a vehicle, it, it presents itself as a, an interesting sculptural form. Um, but as a pedestrian, it, you get that extra level of detail and it, it's really rewarding to walk up to it and engage with it as a pedestrian. I think that's where Amy is oftentimes is very smart in her approach to particular projects is identifying you know the different ways that um, viewers might interact with the work. Mm -hmm.